what has the last several weeks been like for you in terms of your preparation, your uh, promotion, and everything leading up to this weekend? Uh, it's been a lot. You know, I just, uh, this fight's been, this training camp's been very different for me. I've been very uh, focused and determined. You know, I haven't really been socializing too much with anybody outside of the gym, and I've just been um, really focused and determined on just winning this fight. You know, this is, I say it every time, but this is my biggest fight yet. You know, we've continued to step up and move up fight after fight, and, uh, you know, it's a, a very great opportunity to be able to fight with top-ranked promotions on ESPN, so I'm, I'm ready to go out there and show my best performance yet and show that star, that star talent. Level of fight, this visibility mean for you and your career on ESPN? It's huge. You know, it's an opportunity that most people only dream about and never get. And, um, you know, I'm very grateful and humble and fortunate for the opportunity. Um, you know, one thing about myself is even when I'm not fighting, I try to do a great job going out to fights or events and networking and meeting people. And one thing that people always tell me about myself is that I'm a very humble and sociable person and because of that I've been able to uh, make a lot of great connections and you know top ranks always been a big supporter of mine and uh, I'm not even signed to their promotion label and they're giving me this opportunity so I'm very grateful and winning this fight is only just going to elevate my life and my career in all aspects in every way possible it's going to you know open up a lot more doors of opportunity uh, for myself and my son and for my career and um, at the end of the day you know a lot of people don't realize but you know choosing to become a professional athlete and a professional fighter is a tough way to make a living you know the the types of things that we put our bo body through physically mentally um, it's just a lot you know and uh, at the end of the day we're just striving to do something that most people couldn't do to be able to put bread on the table for our families and you know, it's been a great opportunity for my son to be able to witness my journey. He's not only witnessing it, he's getting to get involved himself. Uh, what do you see out of him now that he's got the gloves on and he's uh, throwing punches? It feels really good. You know, ever since uh, I got out of the military is when I moved back here and started competing as an amateur and then going into the pros. And um, right when I started, you know, taking on my career very seriously as an amateur, I used to take my son to the gym with me every day. He was only a month old, take him to the gym with me uh, in the car seat. And, uh, you know, my son's grown up witnessing everything that I've done. You know, this is all that he's ever seen and all that he ever knows. And um, one thing about me that I've had to learn about being a parent is I've never tried to pressure or force my son to do it because I don't want him to resent it. Um, but it's become such a great experience and a bonding experience for both of us that majority of the time I can't leave out the house to go to the gym without him saying that he wants to come with me. So, you know, he just turned eight years old and uh, this year he'll start competing. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to really see what he does and follow in my footsteps. It seems like every time we've talked to you, like you said, it's like your biggest fight yet and you're just on the steady ascent. Has there been a challenge for you in the last year or so since you've kind of your career has kind of taken off? Um, you know, I feel like every fight is a challenge. You know, it's only going to strengthen me and uh, really showcase my talent depending on where I'm at in my, in my level in my career. And, you know, a lot of people fail to remember I came back from two crucial injuries that potentially should have ruined my career. You know, I had torn both of my biceps a year and a half ago um, and everybody thought my career was over. But, you know, I showed that, you know, I just overcome or overcame the adversity and all the obstacles and continue to push forward day after day, knowing that each day I was going to be getting a little bit better than I was the day before. And, you know, it feels great to be able to come back from something that most people would have just given up on. So, you know, I've had some tough opponents. And, um, you know, one thing about my career is I've continued to step up my competition fight after fight. You know, this will be my first eight rounder. Now that we're moving up to eight rounders, we're moving up to even uh, tougher competition. And uh, it's only going to get harder, you know, but with my competition only getting harder, I'm only going to get better, you know. And like I mentioned, you know, the best is yet to come. You know, I still have a lot of room to grow um, in and outside of the ring, professionally and business-wise. But, 
Um, the great thing about me is I have shown a lot of growth fight after fight. And uh, now that my body is pretty much fully healed from all the injuries I had existingly, it uh, feels really good for my body to be able to perform the way that I want it to. This by far will be my, you know, my biggest fight. It's with the biggest promotion label, top ranked promotions on ESPN, my biggest venue yet at the Stockton Arena. It's a 10, 11,000 plus person venue, potentially going to be fighting in front of over a few million viewers. So um, this is a dream come true. You know, I was a little kid, I was my son's age, always dreaming about wanting to become a professional fighter. And, uh, you know, here it is over 20 years later and I've turned my dream into reality and I'm entering the ring in a way that I grew up, you know, valuing everything that these fighters before me had done. And I'm just, I'm very grateful for the opportunity and just, uh, you know, I can't wait to live in the moment. It's going to be a great opportunity. I'm looking forward to going out there to putting on, you know, a great show for top rank for fans and spectators around the world. And, increasing my record to 12 and 0. People can expect uh, when they see me get in the ring is that I'm going to show that beast mode mentality that I'm going to overcome and dig deep and give everything that I have to give in the fight. And when the fight and the night is over, we will be leaving with our hands raised victorious going 12 and 0.